Today, I'm going to be going over this guy who is currently starting shit with us on Reddit because he wants to define his own things for what a magnet should be used for, even though we don't advertise it as a certain use case, as well as all the other stuff that goes along with this. So I got receipts, I've got details, and I'm going to show you guys why he was actually banned and it has nothing to do with his reviews. So right as I was about to render the video, I saw this comment where the guy literally admits that he saw that the magnet's only meant to be used with the steel plate, so he concentrated on the corners and literally says here, I also tried to find any other discrepancies. The 3M adhesive, for example, was different, but it was superior, so I did not mind that. So this guy literally admits that because he bought this, intending to use it with a magnetic, flexible sheet that's not ours, that he is now intentionally nitpicking things because he didn't read the product description. This right there nullifies all of this and proves the point that this guy is being ridiculous. So I woke up this morning to a link to this post saying that this guy was banned for an honest review and I can tell you guys that's not why he got banned. If I pull up this chat here from Microsoft Teams, you can see dated on 8.8, I told Tor, which is one of our support guys, that I banned this guy by IP because he was being insanely difficult and we didn't want to deal with him any further. You can also see here that this is his ticket. So I was referring to this guy. You can see in the URL here, slash 290 is in that URL and right here. So this is establishing that he was banned on the 8th. Now this is his ticket. Now I've redacted his last name, his email and his phone number. The only thing left is his first name. Uh, I'm just going to call him Serge because I don't know how to say that name. He wanted to return this and it did not exactly align with his bed. Now, he is using our magnetic sheet that's intended to be used with a spring steel or steel plate with another company's magnetic sheet. So I'm assuming it's probably going to be the Creality one he's using it with, which is just a build sheet stuck to another magnet. So when you put those on there, you want to have the magnetic poles lined up. Now, we do not sell our magnetic sheets for anything other than to be used with other steel sheets. And that's how we've always sold them. We actually state this on the product page that this is how they're intended to be used. They're not meant to be used with other magnetic sheets. They're meant to be used with steel plates. That's it. And the other thing he mentioned here, which is not anything that affects functionality and is normal depending on when and where the sheets were made, is that one of the corners was rounded. So when we get sheets, we get bulk orders of sheets that are cut to a size that we specify, and then we put them on the shelf and we stock them. Now, if we have sizes that either we're discontinuing or we have excess of, we will cut the larger sheets down to a smaller size and then move the inventory internally. And what that sometimes means is that you'll have a sheet that'll have you know, a regular normal corner, and then it'll have the slight rounded corner that the manufacturer puts on there, depending on how the sheet was cut. We've been doing this for years, and this is actually the first guy that's ever had a problem with it. It doesn't affect the functionality of the product. And just to cover our asses, I put a note on the magnet page that the corners may vary. So you can see here, uh, Tor sent him the return information. We got back to him in about 40 40 to 45 minutes here, so 10.08 a.m. He sent this in at 9.21. So we got back to him really quick, and he wants to know now if this can be categorized as defective so he doesn't have to pay shipping. Now, here's the thing. If we screw something up, we send you the wrong product, we send you a product that's broken, we will cover all the shipping costs. That's, that's how it works. So the first 30 days, we cover everything. After that, then the warranty applies. And the only shipping cost you'll be responsible for outside of the first 30 days is a shipping back to us, and we cover shipping to you. This is what most companies do these days. So at this point, Tor had asked me to take a look at the ticket. You can see he requested pictures. I then sent him a response explaining that it's meant to be used with the spring seal sheets and that the poles of the magnets are not something we care about or even have in our QC process because they don't matter for the proper application of using them with a steel sheet. So we don't care about what direction the poles are going on the magnet because when you put a steel sheet on there, it doesn't care. It's just, it just sticks it down to the bed. So he sends pictures here and this is what he's complaining about that it doesn't match. So you see this was a sheet that was cut down to the 235 by 235 size. We have a big industrial slicer we use to cut the sheets down to different sizes. Um, 
And this is what he was complaining about right here. He was also mentioning that the adhesive was different. So we did used to use this 9448A adhesive. All the current magnets we've been shipping for the last at least two to three years. I don't know the exact date when we switched over. We cut over to using the 300 LSE from 3M because it's just a better adhesive for this application. And what I mean by better is it's actually easier to remove from your printer bed if you have to change it later on. The 9448A, while it's a good adhesive, it does make it harder. While the 9448A is good adhesive, it is harder to get off the bed if you have to change the magnet. You know, because maybe you damage the magnet, you're changing it, they do eventually wear out. We wanted to make it easier for people to replace them. And this is something we did years ago. We typically don't update product photos for minute changes like this because it's not changing how the product works. It's not changing the installation process. So we keep the older photos up there because it really doesn't matter. And for the magnetic sheets and most of our build plates, we just use a standard photo of a sheet or a build plate to represent all the sizes because we carry a ton of sizes and to take pictures of every single one is very time consuming and you get the general idea. They're just plates. They all look the same. They're square or rectangle, and they have a surface on them. And for the magnets, they're square rectangle magnetic sheets. So you can see here is acknowledging that they're not meant to be used with anything else. Um, you can use them with other steel plates. They're just not designed to be used with other magnets. They're meant to stick down a plate. And you can see here now he's complaining about the adhesive, which we just covered. Tor then explains about the corners. And you can see here he even looked at the adhesive to see that the new adhesive we're using on the magnets is actually a better adhesive. So I was going through the shop. We were cleaning up things. I noticed we had some big sheets that we got that were not a size we carried. And I told them that I do have these. If you just cover the shipping, which would have been five bucks, I would have sent him one of those sheets. He wouldn't have had to send us the old one back. He then replies saying, thank you for your offer. I appreciate it, but he doesn't have something to cut the sheet. Um, and I don't like the idea of paying more for something I was expecting to have already. Well, here's the thing. You do have a 235 by 235 magnetic sheet. That's what you bought. That's what you received. So I then said, hey, if you change your mind, I will cut it down. Let me know what size you want. I will put it on my cutter. I will cut you whatever size you want from those big sheets. I'll make sure it's, they're cut in a way that's got all sharp corners on the edges. Still wasn't okay with him. I also told him he can return it. He's got till August 24th to return it. So if he wants to return it, he can send us an email and we can accept a return on it. He then writes us this other novel here, um, basically saying that we still disagree, which we do. And he says here, it's not wasting your and my time any longer. Good luck. So I said, have a good one. I'm going to close the ticket now. And that's what I thought the end of it was until today. So I'm just pulling up his public comments here. You can see he says... Uh, I only attempted to post a review once. I have never used fake emails. Those four comments pending review are not mine. I've always been polite with them. But here's the thing. So these are the pending reviews that were on the site this morning. I have since deleted these because they're not relevant to the product. And they're just using offensive and invalid emails that aren't even customers of ours. So you can see one here where this guy just left on a magnet sheet. Uh, poor adhesion, bad customer service. He's not a customer of ours. And a magnetic base is not meant to be printed on. So I would not publish this review I even outside of here because this is not relevant to the product. I'm not going to post a one-star review because somebody's trying to print on a magnet when we specifically say to not print on a magnet. The other one here is just somebody jumping on the bandwagon train and posting the Reddit link. Again, not relevant to the product. This one was deleted. We have this one here uh, that it says Tim is a retard at Tim is a retard at gmail.com. Please delete this review to you so I can post it online. Thank you. So I'm going to assume this was probably the guy. And I can also definitely assume that this guy with this invalid weird email here was him because this is the same thing he posted, even commenting that he got banned and using a different IP address allowed him to see the website. So the thing I'm bringing these up for is the guy clearly is lying about stuff. Because he's saying here two hours ago, as I'm making this video, I only attempted to post a review once. I have never used fake emails. Those four comments, pen and review, are not mine. I have a hard time believing that. This whole thing is a non-issue. I sent the customer what they ordered. The guy wasn't happy with it because he was using it in an application that it was not intended for use at all. We're not selling magnets to be used with other magnets and having pole alignments. We sell the magnets to be used with steel sheets. That's it. 
You can use them with other steel sheets. You can use them with Creality sheets, Soval sheets. As long as it's a metal flex plate that's meant to be held down with a magnet, the magnets will work for that. So that's it. I'm remaking this video because there's more information that came out by the guy actually posting more on the Reddit thread. And also I wanted to pull the other one down because I didn't realize that one of the screenshots, I forgot to blur out his name at the very bottom. There was someone that messaged me and told me that. And as soon as I realized that, I made the video private and now I'm making a new one. So here's the thing. We take care of our customers and our philosophy is simple. If we make a mistake, we screw something up, we will make it right. So we send you the wrong product, something breaks, we stand behind our stuff. But people like this that want to try to use products for an application that they're not intended for are not people with valid feedback. Can you imagine if I went and bought an engine from Harbor Freight that's meant to run on gasoline, I put diesel in there, and then I go trashing them online because... Well, this engine didn't run on diesel. It blew up. It's not, it's not running at all. Well, because I'm not using it correctly. This is the same thing here. Like the magnetic sheets are just that. It's a magnetic sheet to be used with a steel plate. It's not meant to be used with anything other than steel plates. So anyways, I got to get back to work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, happy printing. I'll see you guys later.